A new sort of citizen activism has contributor David Sedaris all fired up. Oh boy, I can already tell this is going to be good. During this difficult time, when so many Americans are looking for work, I'd like to introduce an idea for something I'm calling the Citizen's Dismissal. So in case you're not familiar with who this is, this is David Sedaris. He's a famous left-wing author who also occasionally does comedy. And yes, his voice does actually sound like that. I didn't edit the audio at all. He does actually sound like his testicles are in his abdomen. It's like a citizen's arrest, but instead of detaining someone, you get to fire them. So what, like random people off the street can just go into any business and fire any employee at will? What could possibly go wrong? Take this lifeguard at a YMCA I went to. So if this guy had the power to unilaterally fire people at will, his immediate target wouldn't be corrupt politicians or corrupt corporate executives. No, it would be lifeguards at a swimming pool. You know, people who get paid just above minimum wage to go through all this intensive training to save people's lives. Yeah, I know, the bastards. I bought a guest pass so that I could swim laps. So this guy thinks this lifeguard ought to be fired. So she must have done something pretty serious, right? She must have sat by idle while a kid drowned or something like that. And ten minutes after I'd started, the young woman blew her whistle, calling, You all have to leave now. Okay, I'd imagine there's a reason for that. Usually when lifeguards instruct people to leave the pool, it's for a reason. Like maybe it's closing time, or maybe there's some sort of safety hazard in the pool, or maybe there's a scheduled maintenance or cleaning going on. I highly doubt that this lifeguard ordered everyone out of the pool just to inconvenience you personally. How come, I ask? It's not really any of your business. It's their pool, they get to call the shots. I have to go to my parents' house, she said. Yeah, you never know. Maybe her parents were dealing with some sort of emergency and needed her help. Like, yeah, sorry the entire world isn't obligated to revolve around your ability to swim laps in a pool. I thought I hadn't heard her correctly. Yeah, chances are you probably didn't, since you look old as fuck and your hearing is probably deteriorated. I'm going there to do some laundry, she told me. Uh-huh, yeah, a lifeguard would leave their job mid-shift just to do laundry. Yeah, I totally believe you. And then I'm going home. Oh, you're going home all right, I wanted to say, because you are fired. So to be absolutely fair, I don't know all the details of what happened in this situation. I mean, if she did just abandon her shift to go home and do laundry, then maybe there's a case that she needs to be fired. Most likely, what probably happened is this lifeguard's shift was ending, and she was about to leave for the day, and the lifeguard that was supposed to take over her post hasn't shown up yet, so as a safety precaution, she had to order everyone to leave the pool, because people aren't supposed to be in the pool if there's no lifeguard on duty. That's a liability issue. Either way, though, it's most most likely the case that this situation didn't go down quite exactly as being described. I'd have liked to do the same to a salesperson who worked at a store where my sister and I bought a number of very expensive cups and saucers. The woman rang them up, and after I paid, she stood there blinking. I'm afraid I haven't got anything to put them in, she said, no bubble wrap or bags. So we should what, just carry the cups and saucers in our hands? My sister asked. Um, yeah. Unless you plan on, like, strapping them to your back or something, then yeah, you're gonna need to carry them with your hands. Well, they're yours, the woman said. You bought them. Yeah, once you purchase items from a store, they then become your property and they're no longer the store's responsibility. Yeah, that's kind of how that works. Do you have a purse, I wanted to ask? Um, how the fuck is that any of your business? If so, you need to get it and go home. My sister and I are firing you. So you think the store clerk should be fired because the business ran out of supplies. It's not the responsibility of the store clerk to make sure the store is properly stocked. Like, if you want to criticize the business for not keeping a proper supply of stocks, then fine, go ahead and do that. But that has nothing to do with the store clerk. 
I'm not suggesting that we go crazy with this. We all have our off days. Um, what other possible logical consequence could there be to a system like this other than people going crazy with it? If customers could at any time just decide to fire people, then it would basically be impossible for any business to have any sort of staff because there's a very high statistical likelihood that every employee is going to piss off at least one customer at least once. So this would basically make it impossible for businesses to hire anyone. Not to mention that someone could say fire an employee because of a political opinion they have or something like that. There are a million ways this idea could go south. Certain people though could easily be replaced by go-getters who'd say, I've got an idea. Let's wrap your pottery in my socks and underwear. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Oh god, please tell me this guy is kidding. Please tell me this is a joke. There's no way this guy is that big of an entitled douche that he thinks minimum wage employees should be forced to strip their clothes off and hand it to him just to protect some china wear. Or you could use your own if you have a thing against germs. That's disgusting. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If the store doesn't have anything to wrap your expensive china wear in, just strip butt-ass naked in the middle of the store, take off your socks and underwear, and use that to wrap your cups and saucers. You know, I can't think of anything I would enjoy more than drinking my coffee or tea out of a cup that's been wrapped up in someone's foot sweat or pubic hair. That's the kind of person I want to deal with. Someone with solutions. How about we take a big old shiny piece of duct tape and wrap it right around that mouth of yours? There, there's a solution for you. The sort who'd say, if I keep the pool open, could I maybe do my laundry at your house? Um, no. As customers, though, we need to keep our end of the bargain. Of course you can do your laundry at my place. Well, Mr. Sedaris, if you want to bribe random strangers with letting them come to your house and do their laundry, you can knock yourself out. Personally, I'm not really interested. Imagine random strangers being able to come into your house with their shit-stained underwear or their menstrual blood-soaked G-strings. That is a big no thank you from me. We'll say, I just need to throw in some socks and panties. Yeah, and that's probably the only time you'll ever touch panties in your entire life. Who else wants to bet this dude is a virgin? I promise to return to someone who, like you, is really good at her job. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, there's arrogant, and then there's being a billionaire who thinks they should have the right to fire minimum wage workers because they were slightly inconvenienced to arrogant. This has been Philosopossum making stupidity play dead. Until next time, take care.